Hello and welcome on the Impro, and this is Epic Auto Towers, which we're going to check out on stream tonight on Twitch. So this is a very interesting little game. It's not really an auto battler. It's not really a tower defense thing. It's not really chess, but it kind of goes that way. We're going to play, and we're going to try and explain what the heck this is. It's a bit of a strategy game. Uh, it's a roguelike. Definitely, so you start over over again, but you don't really get permanent bonuses So I'm gonna pick any of these options because I'm not entirely sure which of these make super sense We're gonna go with the iron tower will be added and Basically what this so so we have this tower over here, which is our royal tower and We need to defend this enemies are gonna spawn over here They're gonna walk over there and try and attack it We have one damage and five health on it and then we get these towers which we can then buy and put on the map here to try and defend our tower and we can upgrade these but it's not exactly like a tower defense um it's more like a like a strategic thing of what's gonna fail when and what makes sense and all of these have their own little effects so if you put this thing next to our main tower it's gonna generate us two gold on the start of every turn which is important because we don't have that much then we have these iron towers and if we upgrade these pretty decently then they will eventually get 75 uh, HP, which is pretty big. We have very little gold right now. It's all good. We could re-roll this for one gold, which we don't have. So we're just going to end turn. Now these <laughs> very interesting enemies pop up here. They slide through, attack us, and we have to survive. Which we didn't. So we lost one of the crowns. Once all crowns are gone, we're dead. So let's consider what we do next. This tower I like because it goes up, 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 and it's very easily upgradable. And if we combine it with the cat milk tower, it's gonna get ever more health. So I think, or no, 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 no. we're gonna get we're gonna get the glass tower with the cat milk tower because that keeps giving health basically. And this keeps generating damage for itself. That's a pretty decent combination. Oh god, we're getting... Oh, okay, we survived. Very good. One run survived. So it's about a little bit of positioning because some of these work better together. Like if this thing, the cat tower, gets some milk, it gets plus one HP and one damage instead of just one HP. So might make sense. We could put the thief tower next to this thing. So we get some extra gold. And it turns this into a trap. <laughs> but we definitely want to upgrade the iron tower more because we want that to level 3, which is important, where this really comes to shine. Eventually on turn 10, there's going to be a boss who rips through all of this. I really like the enemy design. It's, it's very curious, to say the least. It's very odd. <laughs> okay, um... We do still have one spot in the front free, but I'd rather re-roll once and get more of what we have, especially this and this. So the glass tower is now up. It gets two damage by the end of its turn. And we'll just continue here. So that didn't didn't do much for us. I like how they have their little momentum and then they kind of fall back. Alright, we could give the milk tower. Which helps us only very little right now because it throws extra at the front there. And that goes into nothingness, so that's sad. Something that... I would like to be able to do is lock these in, but you can't, so you lose what you have on the next round, basically. Okay, Glass Tower is slowly coming into its own by not immediately dying to the very first thing that's hit, hitting it, but this might be a death for us. Yeah, 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 we can't, we can't survive that. <laughs> Alright, we could pump our Royal Tower, which I like to do, so he has more health, more damage. And since we only have one crown left, we're, we're very in a precarious situation. 
So we're going to put this guy in the front now. Because he's going to get continually food. And if he dies, he gives everyone some boost. And I like the Obsidian Tower as well. Because temporary bonus is a permanent. So in combination with this guy, that's really, really great. Because he's going to retain that. Everyone else is just going to be temporarily boosted. Now, re-rolling doesn't really help us. So instead, we're going to retain the three gold for the next round. And you're going to see. So this guy dies. Upgrades everyone. One more upgrade for the Iron Tower. And we got something really nice going here. Until then, the Royal Tower basically has to do everything for us. There we go. Okay, Cat Milk Tower. Could make sense. Don't want to do it. So we're going to take that. Nothing else here. Oh. At the end of the turn, grants adjacent power, temporary damage and HP equal to 20% of its own damage and HP. So this would be good because it keeps buffing the Obsidian Tower. Glass Tower would have been also good, but I think that's that for this round here. Boy, our enemies are truly ripping through our stuff here. But with the upgrade to our Royal Tower, we got something going. The, the boss is really crazy, though. Like, that's, that's going to be an issue for us. For sure going to be an issue. Okay, I don't want any of these. If any tower receives a damage or HP bonus from Milk Coffee Tower receives the same bonus temporarily. All temporary bonuses are multiplied by two. Is that for everyone? Like, for the Obsidian Tower as well? Okay, we're going to try. I don't know. But if it is, that would be very good. Oh, yes. Perfect. That's good. So now we have a really big, strong tower in the front here. Okay, I don't think Coffee Tower actually upgrades for everyone. But that's okay. So now they're going to run into the Iron Tower... Except the boss. The boss is still going to rip through all this. He He's not going to care. At all. Bear tower would be really good. If any tower is permanently removed from the field, bear tower permanently receives the damage and HP of the removed tower as a bonus. So this would be really good in combination with the iron tower. But we don't have anything to dismiss at the moment. So doesn't work. Doesn't work for us, sadly. So we'll have to leave it where it is because we can't just lock it down for us. So the Guardian Tower will now give us much more, and over time we'll bump our Obsidian Tower to some insane levels. I like this. There's a lot of thinking going in here. And it's one of those very simple games that's going to keep you up and going. We're like, damn, I have, I have another idea here. I have another idea. I know how to approach this now. You know, that's, that's how you're going to feel about this. Okay, I don't know if we're going to survive the boss, so we'll just, we'll just try. Let's see. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, we might actually survive it. Oh, we did! <laughs> Fantastic. So these are not permanent. These are just for your current setup. Uh, click the token on the selected tower store. The selected tower is removed and no longer appears in the tower store. Okay. Gain an extra tower slot. If you haven't bought any towers in a round, tower store gets a different choice of towers next round. This effect also applies to reroll. Okay, so you're not going to get the same towers that you already had. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to go with the poker chip. Might not be the best idea, but we'll see about it. Okay, so since we have no slots anymore, these don't help us. So now this actually comes in kind of handy because we can't get the same one again. Can't get the same one again. Oh, no. 
Stop giving me the good towers. Stop giving me rare towers. Okay, I just have to end the turn because I don't want to spend all of my money on re-rolling here. And we're being transported to another plane now. I think the rare towers is just exactly after you beat a boss so you get a chance at these. But it doesn't really help me. Okay. So we have no more power uh, tower slots. Upgrade this further. Upgrade this further. Let's do one more reroll. And we're going to fully push this thief. So he gets plus three gold and he gives the trap 15. So let's go here. Obsidian tower is slowly growing. These get real strong real quick. Like, it's, it's kind of silly how strong these get. Because they have so much health. They get even through the Iron Tower really, really easy. I haven't gotten beyond this point. So this is this is the furthest I've gone myself. Guardian Tower upgrade. I'm going to go with the chest upgrade. So this gives plus three, plus three. Obsidian Tower is going to grow big and strong and tall. So the glass tower is pretty good here because it deals a lot of damage. Like once they get to two spawns on enemy, we're kind of we're kind of dead. <laughs> uh, the royal tower gives two more gold at the beginning of a round, or we get more XP. And sh sh Let's gain a removal token because I think I want to remove the coffee tower. I think I don't want that. So upgrading this further. I don't know if that helps us. I don't think so. Level 4 towers gain plus... Yeah, this is more interesting than the coffee tower. Uh, but I can't build it. Well done, me. That wasn't smart. <laughs> Darn. Okay, we'll leave it here. That wasn't smart. That wasn't smart at all. Didn't think that one through. I mean, look at that. That thing has so much health. And all of these have so much health. Yeah, we're done. Ah. Uh, well, I don't know if this is um, specifically hard because of the demo. Or if it's actually that hard. Because, boy, is that hard. So, there are different towers that you can play. Um, or that you will be able to play. At the moment, you can only play the Royal Tower. And there are others then later to deal with. Let's do another round. And we're going to get the... The starting tower will appear in the tower store on the second rather than the first round, which is pretty good. Adds two random towers. Royal tower gets a temporary bonus. Nah. Adds a rare tower to the tower store on the first round. Let's try that. Let's see what we get. Oh, we get the Hydra. Very good. So let's put that thing down. And just end our turn here. <laughs> Because the Hydra is pretty cool. Let's build this now. So we get the gold bonus. And let's watch the Hydra Tower to just completely obliterate everyone. If it dies, you get that card again. So you can buy it yourself once more. I'm thinking. So the Hydra is probably going to die now. And we got another one. I've never even upgraded it. 
Minus one cost for Hydra Tower, Frog Towers, and Snake Towers. Snake Towers are also really good. Let's check this out. So we're going to get another Hydra Tower to buy. So we can level this boy up. Minus two cost for Hydra, Snake, and Frog Towers. Very good. I mean, look at how strong that thing is. That's that's pretty crazy. <clears throat> TNT is also pretty good, as you saw. Let's go for the gold upgrade here. Because Hydra Towers don't pay for themselves, I tell you. Mm. Maybe a cat and a milk tower? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try for it. Let's see. Now I have to get a milk. Otherwise the cat was a bad investment, I'm telling you. So TNT is pretty strong early on. There's no milk to buy. We're not going to buy anything else. We're just going to end the turn here. And we're going to get a level 3 Hydra Tower right away. That's cool. That is pretty strong, I think. Ah, there's the milk thing, though. Ah, we can still afford it. Oh, and we can afford the upgrade to the cat. Oh, hello. That's nice. I really like this. It's a bit of a brain teaser. You have to kind of think about it. It's it's different from what I know. Honestly, I haven't seen a game exactly like this. So to me, this is innovation. And I appreciate innovation for sure. So let's get another Hydra up there. We'll just pump our Hydra stock forever and ever. Honestly, it's one of the few towers where you're kind of happy when it dies. Because it actually helps you. Oh, okay. I don't think we're going to survive the boss, though. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. What does this? Upon reroll gates, either plus one HP or plus one damage. This is a permanent bonus. I mean, might as well put it in there. It really doesn't matter. The boss is gonna... Nah. We're losing this one, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well... Uh, let's do one more just to really drive this point home, because I think this is an interesting game. I think you should wish wishlist this. Let me know uh, in the comments or in chat if you're on Twitch what you think of this. Let's see, Royal Tower gains plus one HP and plus one damage. No, one time permanent bonus. I mean, it's not bad, but... Hydra Tower will be added to this uh, tower store. All towers and tower store are common. In the first round? Maybe. Let's go with that. Do have enough for two uncommon ones. Oh, the Obsidian Tower. Mm, Forge is also really good. I think we're going to go with... What does this? After building or level up. Adds an extra common, uncommon tower discount at the tower's so next turn. Plus one gold at the star. Uh, if it's next to the... To a chest or royal. Okay, so we're going to put that there. Because we get extra gold. <laughs> okay. We want the extra gold here. Please and thank you. I think our tower is going to be hit. Uh, oh, barely survived. Just so. Nice. Look at all that gold coming in here. Ooh, that's a big selection. Why do we have that big selection? Don't get the egg. It takes forever to upgrade. At the end of the turn. Doesn't help us. If we get the obsidian tower, we have to get the guardian tower as well. So we're just going to do... This... And leave it at that. So the Obsidian Tower will absorb temporary for a while and keep them forever. So that's nice. Upgrade this guy and we re-roll now. 
Aren't you supposed to do something reroll? After building or leveling up. Okay, that's that's different, of course. I don't want to build any of these. Maybe a glass tower. The earlier you get it, the better it is. As it keeps upgrading itself. Let's see. Can we survive? Yeah, no problem. Bring in all that dough. So the TNT is kind of cool, but it also isn't. Against the boss at the end, it is really quite worthless, I must say. If we get the cat, we need to get milk. Gains temporary damage bonus at the end of turn for each mosquito tower on the field. I don't want any of these at the moment. Should we start building an iron tower? It will take forever to get. But I think we shall. And there's one more reroll in here. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. Yep. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, the snake tower. I like that. So we have 10 gold. We have room to upgrade everything and get the snake tower. So we're just going to put the snake tower there. Put this up. And put... Oh, darn. Okay, I miscalculated. I'm bad at math. This thing cost us five, not three. All right, let's go. Obsidian tower keeps getting stronger. So the snake tower makes them weak. Some of these don't deal any damage right now. And some of them deal very little damage. So that's pretty strong. Let's go with the gold upgrade to our tower. Because at the moment we're kind of, you know, keeping things away, which is nice. Wait, what does the cow tower do? Milk grants extra plus 3 HP. Applies to all towers. After purchase of level up, doubles the damage and HP of all milk towers on the field. Okay, we don't have a milk tower. So that could have been cool, but it really isn't for us. Oof, all the glass tower upgrades right there. Let's go. I'm afraid of the boss because... I think he'll just kind of walk through all stuff. But the snake tower might... Might just mitigate that issue. Let's see. Ah, very good. Horse tower upgrade, also nice. Then not really had a chance for that. And the others we can't afford. So we're just going to keep going here. So this one gets plus three damage now. Feels a little bit worthless because it just immediately gets destroyed there. It's a bit of a shame, but... Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I do like cats, but not enough for that. Maybe a bear tower, but... Let's get the tick-tock dice... Tic-tac-toe, not tick-tock. <laughs> the tic-tac-toe tower... Give him a little bit of a re-roll boast. Right there. Oh no, two snakes we can't get. Obsidian tower doing God's work right there. Even the glass tower had something to contribute. Good lad. Oh yes. That's what we need. Desperately so. Can we get another iron tower? No. I mean, Glass Tower worked it. They, they had 14 life, the one that just attacked us, so that's pretty decent. Boss is coming up soon, I'm afraid. Yep. There he, there he comes. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Let's give the Guardian Tower an upgrade. Maybe the Tic-Tac-Toe doesn't really matter at this point. We'll just pump the Tic-Tac-Toe Tower anymore, because right now... Either we win or we lose. Like, there's there's no two ways about this guy. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, he died before he even reached. That's great. 
Improves the chance of uncommon and rare tiles appearing. If, if a rare tile receives milk, we don't have milk. Click on a token to pick a tower on the field. That tower will gain plus 25 damage. Tokens. Okay. Huh. I'll take this. This might be eventually for something. <laughs> I know, that's very helpful. Slime Tower consumes the tower on the right at the end of the turn, receives attack and HP of the consumed tower. On the right, so to this side here. Might be interesting later. At the start of the round, adds random potion to the tower store. Okay. Could just go with a Hydra. I don't know what potions do. Let's try it. I don't know. Can't hurt. Let's re-roll so this guy goes up. Gives the selected tower temporary plus 6 and plus 6. So if we gave this to the obsidian, that would be permanent. It's pretty cool. So now we switch the planes of existence to another place. And what do we have here? Milk potion. Gives the selected tower two milk milk two times. So milk gives health. Okay, let me let me let me let me think. That's good for this. Gives him health. Let's re-roll. Obsidian tower, we kinda have to take it because we haven't really seen it yet. I should have taken the iron tower. I'm a fool. Okay. So these things are crazy, crazy, crazy. Completely ran through our most powerful tower right there. Didn't even think about it twice. Okay, let's see. Rejuvenation grants plus two HP regen to a tower. What does that mean? So if it doesn't die on the first go, it regenerates. Okay, first we're gonna we're gonna do that. So now we're gonna give this to the iron tower. So it gets regen. And then we're gonna go throw this in there. And now we're gonna use this on the iron tower. That might just be really good. Okay, let's get more gold. This. Okay, I don't think regen works like I think it did. Grants plus two damage and HP to the tower when used on the frog tower, hydro tower, snake tower, or witch tower. The effect is additionally applied to a different tower. Okay, let's go this on our witch. That's cool. <laughs> Upgrade the guardian tower a little bit. Do one reroll. And give this guy some more milk. Okay. Still not sure what the regeneration thing did. Temporary plus six plus six. So that should be permanent on here. Let's re-roll once, because there might be something good in there. Plus three, plus three. Let's give it... Ah, we can't afford it. Shame. Okay. So the first wave, our first few towers already take on nicely. Oh, very good. I think I've made some good choices for once. Let's see. Milk two times. Upgrade the glass tower. And let's give it more milk. And upgrade it once more. It's 1249 already. Ah, oh, there's a witch. That would be. That would have been dope. So I didn't actually look at the... Oh no, <laughs> completely collapsed our, our most important tower here. Oh, oh 
dangerous, 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 dangerous. I don't like that. I don't even know what the boss is. I never made it this far. Horse tower, definitely upgrade that one. Uh, let's give this the regeneration thing again. Because I think that was important. And glass tower gets some more glass. No. <laughs> what does this do? I don't know. Okay, a uh, snake tower for sure. We have a tic tac toe tower, no, but we have more guardian tower. Frog potion. Let's give that to our witch. Oh, nice. Went on the obsidian tower. Kind of where we like it. Let's do another reroll, which is going to make me sad. Oh, no. Actually, it doesn't make me sad. Nice. That's good for the obsidian tower right there. I think the regen, it just, it just gives it one health, which is one health. I would like to stress how little one health is. I like how they go with speed and then they kind of bump back and forth a little bit. They're doing really good right now. I'm scared of that. I'm always scared if I'm doing kind of good. Plus two. Yeah. It's, it's pointless, I think. The milk potion, not so much. One day. It is going to make sense. Okay, let's upgrade this if we can. And go here. Oh no. 110 health on these. Oh no, 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 we did. <laughs> oh, we lost one crown. So we still have a little bit ahead of us. Okay, 50 and 500. Oh, good God. Let's throw some more frog potion in there. I don't think glass tower helps us right now, so we're not going to do that. Iron tower is not going to help us. More frog potion it is. A vigor potion. So this survives one attack now from the enemy, from the boss. So let's see. Oh, no, we did. All right, okay. Okay. Um, no, but that's fun. Totally recommend it. It's free on the Steam Next Fest right now. Go check it out yourself if you found this any way, shape, or form interesting. I think this is definitely worthy to go on a wish list. And I hope you liked it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Is this a game that you might be interested in playing? If so, I hope you go check it out. Wish list it. And I see you around the next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.